We're glad to have you with us. I am Dr. Willie Jolly, and this is... This is Dean. And we're the authors of the book, Make Love, Make Money, Make It Last, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 secrets to shape a great marriage, and an 11th chapter for people who are not yet married on how you can separate the prospects from the suspects <laughs> and find somebody who would treat you nice, treat you kind, treat you fine. So welcome. We are grateful for all of you who have made this part of your weekly routine. Thank you for joining us, Senior Terrence and Linda and Greg Cazera all the people around the country and around the world, and those, uh, uh, let's see, y'all are home in West Virginia, and uh, all the people around the world who watch it on replay on YouTube, on Jolly Marriage Show YouTube. So however you get it, wherever you get it, we are grateful. Instagram, Facebook Live, LinkedIn Live, or on YouTube replays. All right, now what are the re announcements we have to make? We have the Relationship Repair Series is available, five parts, and a sixth bonus part. And we have Goal Stepping Artists coming up immediately. All right. And where can they find out the information if on it? If they want information on it, because the site's going up uh, tomorrow, just send us an email. Where should they send the email? Info at willyjolly.com and just put goals in the subject line. Goals in the subject line. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and the the webinar will be offered three times on the 27th, which is Wednesday, November 2nd, and, and November 3rd. And you'll get the replay. Okay. So as we approach, we're in the mid, we're, we're approaching the second month of the last fourth quarter. So now is the time to revisit what you didn't do in terms of your goals to get to get that right and to end the year strong. Strong. To end the year strong. Okay. And to prepare for the new year. Businesses prepare now, third quarter and fourth quarter, with their projections and their plans of what you're doing for the next year. What are your individual goals and what are your couple's goals? So you have to have individual goals and then you put those individual goals together. And they and you look at where there are connections to end up with your couple's goals. You have individual goals, couple's goals, and then there's a merging of the two. And you support each other. That'll do it. So right. if you're interested in our goal seminar, and it's only 45 minutes, it's tight, it's lean. It's tight, but it's right. It's tight, it's lean, it has key information, and you get the, uh, the replay and the handout. How about that? Very good. So we plan the handouts and get to share with everybody. So if you're interested and the cost is just $20 and you can share it with the world, info at willyjolly.com and put goals in the subject line. Okay? That works for me. Uh, so we got the goal setting seminar. We've got the relationship repair series. And we also have people who have said they're interested of us having a 15 minute interview with them. You got another slot available? One more slot available that we are going to interview and help them and coach them and mentor them. If you've got some issue, we've had a number of people take advantage of it, where we're going well, to- Well, you're not really doing that. We're doing an initial interview because- well, this is it's, any, But this it's an interview, we coaching them through their problem, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm that's- just saying- It's the, a coaching session. The impression I'm getting is that this is ongoing. No. The focus is really on us. But they what get is it to for? benefit what is it for? from us coaching. Just, them. Yeah, okay. Okay. And it's a coaching session. It's probably 15, 20 minutes. And we're going to help you with some issue. And then we're going to record it because it'll be for our eyes and the eyes of the television producers who have said, we want to see how you deal with real people with real issues in real time. All right. After they saw us on the Today Show, they want a little more. And I said, cool, cool, cool. So, again, info at willyjolly.com. If you'd like to take advantage, this is a very advantage. We charge for this normally. 
We charge a fee for this, but this time. So what are you what what are you asking them to do? If they so want to, if they want to get advanced, take advantage, just send an e email to info at willyjolly.com mm -hmm. with pilot in the subject. Pilot. Okay. P-I-L-O-T. Okay, so now you've got two. One info with goals. at willyjolly.com. One if you're interested in the goal seminar. Yep. Goal in the subject line. And one and the other one if if you want to be in the pilot. You be in the one. pilot. Put All right. pilot in the subject line. All right, let's get going because we got to give a lot of information tonight. Hello, Sherry Elliott. A lot of information in a little bit of time. And this is a very important subject. What do you do when your dreams, your goals, your aspirations collide kaboof, with your spouse? What happened when your spouse said, ah, that's not working for me? Your goals, your dreams, your aspirations don't work for me. Ouch. What do you do? So then? why don't you give a little background? So the background. As I said, we coach couples and we've had a conversation with couples. Well, this couple, the first goal that was collision course was the wife wanted to have a child. The husband did not. He had two children from his first marriage. He got married a second time to a younger wife. She wanted a child. He said, I've, I've got two children. Don't need them. But she wanted to have a child. And she had a goal and an aspiration to have a child. There was a collision. But the husband finally, what was the right word? Acquiesced. Acquiesced. And they have a new baby. So the now the couple wants well the wife wants to go back and get a advanced degree and the husband said oh we talked about that before we got married and then we talked about it once i acquiesced with the baby who gonna take care of the baby this is a big deal or take I mean, a lot of time and energy for you to go back to school and get an advanced degree i'm working to pay the bills and i work late hours and work sometimes but uh, isn't she working too yeah they're both working but what happens after work now the mother uh, the mother what well, bride's mother wife's mother take care of the baby during the day so but what about the evenings mother's older she's going to be going to school he's working that creates all sorts of other challenges she has this aspiration to get to the advanced degree. He's not feeling it. There's collision. What do you do now? What was your advice? My advice was what we've been telling couples and we did on our TED Talk is don't attack each other. Gang up on the problem. Whatever it is. Don't get in big arguments and attack each other over any issue. Rather, gang up on the problem, work together to fix and solve or find a solution to the problem. That's what we've done for 30 plus years. We've not attacked each other. We gang up on the problem. That's what my recommendation was. Now, I applaud anybody who has aspirations of furthering their education. I applaud them. There's got to be a way to figure this out and make it work, but it has to be where there's communication and there's appreciation of each other's goals and dreams. And so that is one of the reasons why we're doing this goal setting so that you have, sometimes you have his goals and her goals, and then how do you make them work together, and create our goals? Am I right there? Yes, sir. All right, so why don't you tell a little more about what you thought about this whole process. So I approached it a little differently. And uh, I said, you know what? Really, we have to be a little more, I think, specific with this particular situation because just kind of working it through generally has not worked. Mm. Okay? Mm. So we have to talk about some things that are a little uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Okay? So uncomfortable. so so life takes many different twists and turns and 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 career goals and personal aspirations can can change. Yeah. Even though the conversation initially said, here's what we're gonna do. Right. Then they got married and everything changed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Observation. 
our careers can be an expression of our natural talents and gifts, but it also provides resources for the family. Mm -hmm. So it's two pieces. Two pieces. I want to grow my career because that's part of who I am and I want to do something that's meaningful or maybe even change my career. But also what I do in its current form is providing revenue for our household. Huh. Huh. So, so really, you got two things going on here, right? Yes. You, you've got, I want to grow and change, <laughs> perhaps make more money, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you've got, well, this making of, of, of money is helping the family. And if there's interruption of that making of money right now with the idea that I'll make more later, hopefully with the advanced degree, you've got a challenge. Yes. So, so my first observation when I'm like, okay, so my dreams, our dreams and goals are colliding. What do we need to do about this relationship to make it work? And I said, oh, I'm you came up with a formula. formula. Oh, ah, she came up with a formula. That's the education in me. I yeah, can't, I can't help she myself. came up with a formula. So here's a formula to help you through the maze. Yeah. That's what I said, a formula to help you through. And this is the elephant in the room and, and uncomfortable stuff. Decide if this is a deal breaker. Hmm. Do you know what that means? No, I don't, because I don't believe there should be ever any deal breakers. I, 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 you see, know, I don't, I don't that's why I'm saying there's an elephant in the room. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because you're all, you by your very nature and as a counselor and all that, you're looking for, we're going to work this out. There's a solution. But I'm saying that sometimes people have um, um, conflicting agendas, and people don't always tell the truth. Okay. So now you have a situation where, you already have another child that initially somebody didn't want. Okay. 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 Now you have another situation where arising where one wants to go back to school and the other one is like, that's not a part of the original plan either. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, there are two different agendas here. Correct. But agendas happen and they change, do they not? Don't they change? It would appear that this one did not. But I mean, they one have, of them came with a very set agenda, and and their agenda did not. Did not. There was uh, no compromise. The thing that you're talking about, even before we get to use the four Fs to make it work, I'm, I, my conclusion number one is they have to decide if they really want this marriage to work. Because once you decide you really want, I like being with you. I do not always agree with everything. When we say how we work through, right? Yes. Just like tonight. I said, honey, don't go out and deliver the cards. The uh, campaign material. He was out delivering campaign material as we came in from yoga. I'm like, don't go out and deliver campaign material in the middle of the night. Why? It's not middle of the night. It's the middle of the night. It's, it's, <laughs> it's nine o'clock and well, then it was eight something, but it was still the middle. Of, I said, "Honey," and you ignored me. I did. And and I and you I had angst. You. I had angst. I was concerned about you. I didn't want you about walking around in the street at night. No, I wanted you to wait and go with me tomorrow in the daytime. Yes, but you didn't do that. I did not do that. You, me. Yes. And you know Please keep him safe. I don't want to be a widow. That's correct. And I'm here. You are. Okay. You are. So but I was not happy about that. You that were you not happy. No, that you, that you did that and you ignored me. I ignored you. But that because, was not, because, no, that, but that, because. But that was not, I, I'm just saying, that, that, was, that was a little, that was inconvenience and I was concerned. You just, and I know you dismissed me. I just I didn't dismiss you. I just said I didn't. You were dismissive. Uh, yeah, I said, I said, I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. You're going to be right mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. You are dismissive of my concern. <laughs> but I'm saying, wasn't a really big deal. I'm concerned about your safety. Okay, right? yes. But we didn't butt heads. We did not butt heads. We did not argue. And I'm just saying, number one, with, with this formula, you have to decide whatever it is. That's a minor thing. You know, it's not a deal breaker in our relationship. You're going out and you're delivering flyers for the for, for 
um, election stuff, right? Right. But whether or not you I'm not running, stand, but I got somebody who I right. really recommend but, but running. But whether or not it's important to us. But whether or not you have a child and you're gonna fight about whether or not you're gonna have a child, um, or fight about whether you're gonna go to back one would, person will go to school or not. Was that something that you probably discussed ahead of time? Hmm. You know, there are different kinds of conversations that ladies have. Sometimes there are conversations. I'm ready to have a child. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I, I, I do want to have a child. I don't want to adopt. I don't want to be a single parent. At least in in the name, I want to be married. And and I will perhaps not settle until after I get mm -hmm. my baby. And then if I can't tolerate, you know what? I can figure out how to do this without. Them. All right. So number I'm one is saying. decide if this is deal breaker. I don't think there should ever be any deal breakers. I don't think there should ever a v e r ever be any deal breakers. You must understand that love is an emotion. Marriage is a decision. All right. Uh, Terrence said, "Get your advanced degree online. Stay home, watch the baby, and thank God for helping now, see, your mother in law." He's got a plan. He has a plan. He has a plan. Okay. All right, he got a That's plan. good, Terrence. Terrence is ahead of me. Okay. All right. So, decide number one, really, conversations that women is—is is this a deal breaker? And sometimes it could be a deal breaker because they really didn't want to be with him to begin with. They got the baby, you got everything, you got the mama to help with the child. They don't need it. <laughs> to tell the truth. Shame, oh, the devil. You don't need them. Don't no. need them. Because they fight all the time. <laughs> they don't like each other. Uh, they do fight a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so that's what I'm saying. That's a deal breaker. So when I say, so they've been together. Hey, Vaughn like, Williams from North years. Carolina. Good to have okay. you. Okay. What is your truth? Are you willing to say, you know what? All of these things bother me. Why did you change your mind? Well, I really didn't change my mind because that's what my mind was all the time. I had my mind made up. Yeah, my mind was made up. I just didn't want to share it with you Ooh. because I needed you for something else. Wow. That's my that's my take on this particular situation. And then you've got all, what's your truth? Mm. In some instances, what we looked at last week in terms of how marriage is in, mm. they lose lose physical attraction. You lost that person that love puts on a lot of weight them. and they're no longer interested. Okay. Yeah. You're embarrassed about their communication skills. Sometimes the difference in the education of each partner is so that mm, it's okay to be in bed with them, but I don't want to take them out anywhere because when they when they open their mouth, it's jacked up. <laughs> Tell the truth and shame the devil. Okay. Right. Or your ambition levels. We've had that. another one who are like that who said, My husband is not ambitious enough, and I'm leaving him. And I don't find that sexually Ooh, attractive. Isn't that something? That's what she said. So, so I you know, you, physically you, you have to peel mm. back this onion and get to the so elephant in the room. Or lack thereof. Yes, and you're saying, I get what you're saying, Willie. You're saying, you know, under any circumstances, we're not talking about beating somebody up, physical abuse. You're like, there's got to be a way to work out. But sometimes they don't want to. This is true. They don't want to work it out. This is true. Okay, now number two. Okay. So first, tell the truth. Okay. Is this something that I'm willing to w really grind it out with and find a, a solution, right? Check your view. And you say, well, what is that? Check your view. There is Dr. Les and Leslie Parrott came up with this formula. They do an assessment. They have an online assessment um, program. And, it's, and I'm summarizing it to say, check your view. It's like 10, 10, 10. Okay. So what does that mean? It's, it's this says, ask yourself the question when you are dealing with an uh, uncomfortable situation like this, I want to go back to school. Right. I'm at odds with my goals. Right. Well, how is it going to be in 10 weeks? Mm -hmm. How is it going to be in 10 months? And what might it look like in 10 years? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if it's uncomfortable to get the degree 10 years from now, I mean, it, it could be shorter than that. How long are you in school? Is it part time? Is it just a supportive spouse? And I've got to do all the meals. Um, do we have less income coming in? So you have to look at 10 months from now, what might this look like? Mm. And and like uh, Terrence said, mm, maybe you could do it all online. Terrence said the problem is bigger than the school or the baby. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it is big. Yes. It's, it's, it's a big problem. It's a fundamental, you had different agendas before you got married, okay? But this is a great exercise when you say, well, okay. Ten, so you're going to go back to, weeks, to school ten, ten months, weeks, ten years. A year from now, just say even a year from now, what, what might this look like? Well, you, you, again, it goes back to when I went back to school to get my doctorate. It looks like Mount Everest in front of you. That accomplishment, that goal. Look let's, like let's deal practical. Oh, you, oh, you're, being, you're being philosophical. Oh, but I'm just saying, oh, in the air. But but We're the, 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 about, the, the doctoral any... program looked like a big mountain in front of me. But in the behind, in the rearview mirror, looked like. Am I not get there? It looked like a molehill. It might not get there. Like and to and the so I'm saying to you. Here's the issue. Mm -hmm. The issue is, if you look at it at 10 months, 10 weeks, 10 years, mm -hmm. it looks bigger in the front than it does in the back. That's all I'm saying to you. Okay, and right. so you attack the uh, problem. I'm pragmatic. Okay. I, I'm just, okay. You, 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 you're so good. You, 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 you've got a PhD. I do. I, 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 I got a PhD. I, I, I got a brain. If I only right, had a brain. Pain. But we're dealing with practical now. Okay. Okay. All right. Practical says, who's going to have to work more? Uh, we know, know what. Or less. So here's my here was my solution to the problem. And we went through that. All right. We had to work harder. We had to work harder. We had well, to, we had to reduce in. because the money was less because you weren't taking as many. Uh, gigs or speaking as much because you were also studying. I was in the and library. And that just went with the decision that you were going to go back and, and get your advanced degree. And so what and I'm we did talk about it. I mean, what? Here's what I want to say problem. to people though. What I decided was we would work it out. We would attack the problem. We did it together, did we not? Yes. We made it work. We, did didn't, we? Have, we didn't have little kids. No, but we had bills. We did have bills. All right, mm -hmm. it, it, it's, 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 it's a decision. Marriage is a decision, folks. This is not just an emotion. Love is an emotion. Emotions change. They come, they go. You're happy, you're sad. You're up, you're down. But marriage is a decision. Okay, I'm going to go back to. You decide to stay married. You decide decision. to be happy. I'm going to go back to. Abraham the... Lincoln said, you will. Hey, just... man, Abraham Lincoln did. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. Abraham Lincoln Go said, smart. Go ahead, people say will decide to be as happy as they choose to be. Okay. It's so a if decision. you're fighting all the time, you, you're saying you don't want to be happy. Is that what you're saying? You, 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 you don't want to be happy or you want your way so much that you're more important, you're more focused on getting your way than you're being happy. Okay. You must decide. What's that quote you say all the time? You have to decide to be either happy or get what you want. Something to that. Mm -hmm. In terms of, of the relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So going back to what you just reiterated, what I was saying, number one, first of all, you have to decide what is the deal breaker. And I don't think they have any deal breakers unless okay. you choose, to, you choose okay. to be. Some people have a deal breaker over mm -hmm. like the couple we had. We had a deal breaker because oh, here's another one. Here's another one. The husband wanted to be a secret service person. Oh, that's oh. He wanted to go, and, he, and in order to be a secret service agent, um, he had to go to a training course away for six months. The wife said, we got two little children. I don't want you going away. He would come back on the weekends or every other weekend or so. But she said, no. He said, but I've been working for this for years. This, this is was my, not a surprise. This, was not a, this is my goal. She said, no. They ended up divorced. Yeah. Okay. Ended up divorced. Now he so, got a wife. Now he got a wife who, who applauds his aspirations. So he has remarried. So so now he has a blended family. I don't know if the lady, new lady he married and has any children. Or not. Has any children? Or not. But still, that goes back to the elephant in the room of decide whatever it is that you have to work out whether or not it's going to be a deal breaker. And um, and I just firmly believe. That some people come with a very, very different agenda. 
agenda of. Well, I think I everybody. Don't want, I'm not. Mm, I think everybody I, has not, an I'm agenda. Not, I'm not marrying you for the long haul. It's convenient. You can give me what I want, and then I'm out. Because I, I, I don't I do want believe that happens. Because I, I do, don't. But everybody has compromise because they're not willing to do it. I don't want to compromise but, you. It says I really don't love and respect you enough to work this out. That's that's right, what I'm so saying. Okay. I, so the sad first of all is the deal breaker. I know you don't agree with that, but that's what I'm I saying. I agree with that. I said check your view. Ten, ten, okay. ten. All right. So ten, 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 ten weeks, ten of, months, ten What years. is it going to look like? Then you get to review the current family budget. Going down the list. Oh, how much is this going to take? Okay. How much does it cost for me to go back, or for you to go back, or whatever? Well, we have to do that. How much is this going to cost? It costs money for me to go back to school. Have to sit down and work out the budget, right? The tuition, you know, the is, is, is it going to be a loan? Did you get a scholarship? Like you got a scholarship yes. and you you got costs and you had to teach and do something, you know, all Correct. that stuff. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's the family? So what's the family budget look like? Um, you didn't get an extra job. You just cut back on things. Okay, and then number four, list ways returning to school will impact your household. Mm. That's what I'm getting to. Yeah. How is this person, how is my going back to school or your going back to school going to impact the household? The money, I mean, that 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 is, it is or it is, it is not. Here, here are the numbers. How is it going to impact the household? Yeah. What about child care? Yeah. Is, is there an increase in child care because one person is not going to be around as much? Who will prepare the meals? Mm. Is there a block of time for study? Is study with study groups away from your house or will the study group come to your house because you, you have children? Will there be a full will you be a full time or a part time student? Will you be online or, or on site all the time in terms of class? And will you need extra help? in terms of a nanny or somebody to come in to help if the a spouse who is now full-time working has to work and bring in extra money. Go to the next point, though. The next point is what I've been okay. saying all the time. Look for the compromise. Look for a compromise. This is where you use your the little four the Fs, formulas. Be friendly, hard. be frank, be fair, be focused on a win-win. Mm -hmm. Look, be friendly. Have the conversation. <laughs> Terrence said <laughs> they got a PhD. Pull him, her down. <laughs> he is so sorry. <laughs> oh, that's for that. So, so be friendly. Hey, 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 let's have a conversation. Be frank. I went to you and said, I want to go back and get my doctorate. Mm -hmm. And it's important to me. That's a great idea. All right. Be fair. What do you think? Mm -hmm. You say it's. It's going to take away from my family. Yeah, take away from the budget. Mm -hmm. How are we going? How are we how going to work pay it the out? bill? We'll pay the bill. We'll work harder on the times we have, mm -hmm. and we'll we'll tighten the belt. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and be focused on a win win. Mm -hmm. That if I win, you win. Mm -hmm. We're in it together. We're in it together. We're in it together because we have decided from the beginning to have a united front. Yep. And I'm just saying, as I look in. On a lot of the couple situations that we deal with, that is not the case. And they come with different agendas. And if you're not willing to work with that other person and be honest about what you want, and it's not this compromise, it's give and take, it is not going to last. It's going to be bad. And mm -hmm. the little ones suffer because they know when mom and dad don't love each other, don't like each other. I agree. So the answer to this situation, what do you do when, going back to the top, top, what do you do when your dreams and your goals and aspirations collide with your spouse? Here's what you do. You, D and I have different takes on it. I don't believe there's ever a deal breaker. I believe you have to work through it and that marriage is a decision. Therefore, that divorce is not an option. It might not be an option for you or for me, but I'm telling you, it's the underlying thing. <laughs> People don't tell the truth and they come with different agendas. That's all I'm saying. Well, divorce is not an option because when I told you I, I, when we got married, I, know, I said, what did I say to you? I said, I can get out of it. You I can die. get out of this okay, okay, if you okay, die. Okay, if you die, it. you're good to go. Okay, Other than that, we in this for life. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. All right. Take a view of what might the situation look like in 10 years, 
in 10 months or 10 years? 10 years, 10 weeks, or 10 months. That's what you're But here's the bottom line. It don't matter to me. Okay, don't matter to me. Don't matter to me. You said I do, now do. Come on, somebody. You said you I do, do, now do. Do. Review the money. Do. Review the money. Review the budget. It, it got a lot of work up. parts to it. Budget, house care. You got you lined it all up. Okay. But if it if the if the dream is big enough, the problems don't matter. You work on it. You together. gotta be willing to work through it together. I, I think you're such a good Pollyanna person. I uh, do. Are you still here? <laughs> After 38 years? Has everything been perfect? Yeah, we All right, so it's because but we were willing to, to work, work together. together. All right, That's our time is up. Hope y'all got it. I want to say a special shout out to our friend Alice Davis in Atlanta. She says she watches Aww. the replay every week and it sent me a note. Said that what spoke right to me, or that was right on, or here's from my experience. So I want to shout out to Alice <laughs> Davis. I want to shout out to all the people who came up to us while we were at the uh, Nabob conference who said, I watch you on television on your yeah, now who, You know you should not use acronyms. I, well, Nabob, National Association of Black Owned Broadcasters. And, and they came up to me and said, wow, we love you. Can we take a picture? So thank y'all. We ask you to do something, everybody. Share this. Share this with married couples. Share this with people who are single, like Sharice Crawford. Single. Mm -hmm. But she watches it every week. God we love bless her. her. She's headed to London. All right. She was over for dinner yesterday. Okay, so quickly. Yes. Info at WillieJolly.com. Info at WillieJolly.com for the goals. On the goals. And info oh, what about Willie. the TED Talk? TED We're Talk is coming. We're waiting for, for the, the edit. Uh, uh, the TED for Talk. The final edit. I mean, but it's no, fantastic. Like, like, we're not the only ones. What were there? were 12 or 15 um, people there. So but it was good. It was, it's a slow process. So send us info at willyjolly.com. Goals. Put goals. We'll send if, you information if, if about the goal setting seminar. Info at willyjolly.com. If you want uh, to be on our um, interview, we're we'll going to interview, help you with a quick interview, 20 minutes or so to deal with some issue you're dealing with in your relationship. And you put pilot. Pilot. P -I -L -O -T, it's a TV pilot. P-I-L-O-T. -I -L -O -T. And that will have an impact. Hey, our time is up. I want to thank you for your time. This is Dr. Willie Jolly. This is D. And we're going to go out on my song, Close to You, because we like staying close to each other. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you.